What's going on everyone? Welcome to the video. Um, Manchester United 0, Arsenal 1. We were absolutely crap. We were shit. It was such a boring game. Such a boring game. Arsenal fully deserved to win. Um, they probably should have should have been winning 3 0 at half time. They had a good few chances, pretty much gifted to them, and, and they didn't score, thank God. But um, yeah, Pogba goes and gives away a penalty, which I felt was so unnecessary, like didn't need to happen. I think Pogba had a shit game, and he has been having shit games for quite a long time. And you know how I feel about Pogba. Great player when, when he wants to be, when he puts his mind to it. But I'm kind of sick and tired of him not performing. He has such a big name, uh, everyone you know, talks about the quality that he has, but you don't consistent, consistently see it. And today he just completely frustrated me, gave the ball away way too many times. That penalty was just so, as I said, unnecessary. Um, you know, he didn't need to tackle Bellerin like that. He knew straight away when he did it, he tried to dive down and act like it was a mistake or something. Um, not good enough, not good enough at all. Didn't, you know, we were defending well, ish a lot better in the second half um and you know arsenal just couldn't really get to break us down as much as they wanted they had a few good opportunities and um, when it came to headers and stuff but other than that we were pretty all right and um, we were unlucky hitting the post i think it was a van der beek shot deflected Um, obviously bruno coming off was a bit of a dampener but bringing donny van der beek on that's what we want to see um, I just wish it was probably Pogba to be taken off instead of Bruno. Um, there was a lot of times in the match where I could see Bruno giving out to Greenwood and stuff, especially in the first half. He was telling them, like, come on, do this, do that. It just seemed that we, we needed a kick up the arse. Like, we were... There was only a few players out there running and do, doing what they should have been doing. A lot of the players were standoffish. They looked tired. They looked like they were just hanging back, waiting for Arsenal to come at them. And that's what Arsenal did. That's what Arsenal did. I'm just, I'm extremely frustrated because I hate Arsenal. And then, you know, we had a really good result against RB Leipzig. We had a great result against PSG. And, you know, we got the draw against Chelsea, which was, again, a really boring game. But um, this was just so annoying. And that penalty, to give away that penalty, you know, I'm just sick of... I'm sick of it. I think Pogba, honestly, when I see him playing, I'm like, what kind of Pogba are we going to get? Are we going to get, you know, I, I don't see, I, I actually don't see it. I'd rather other players play who who give everything. I think Pogba loses the ball t way too much. Um, in the first half especially, there was players, our passing was terrible. We could not complete a pass. We were just kicking it straight to the opposition. So many times, so many times. I think Greenwood had a howler, in, in fairness. and um, Probably a good few things, like not everyone did shit, and there was a few good things, but a lot that stood out for me today was just crap. Like, Greenwood really just annoyed me the way Bernard kept telling them. He kept pointing and saying things, and, and there was times when the ball went out for a corner or whatever, and Bruno was, like, talking to um, Mason. And Mason just kind of looked uninterested or just lazy. Um, it was just crap, really, really bad. Cavani coming on, I, you know, gave me a little bit of hope, I suppose. And um, Cavani does look good, he does, and we know what he can do. But it's just we weren't getting getting the balls to him or anything, so that was that was the problem. I think Luke Shaw played well, considering not many of the of the players stood out for me very much. I think Shaw did all right. Um. But yeah, just boring, slow, static. I was sitting there watching it. I had a lovely big screen projected onto the wall. And I was like, I could actually go to sleep. I could actually just lie down here, play a game on the phone and go to sleep. That's, you know, the game was just so uninteresting. Um, but yeah, I thought we might have scraped, scraped something at the end. Because we did start to kind of come into it as usual, typical United. You know, they concede and then they start getting, trying to get back into the game. But it wasn't to be. Um, I think Rashford, again, wasn't wasn't great either today. It's going to be hard to top a 16-minute hat-trick from your previous game, of course. And there's always doubters. But 
it was just I, I wanted a lot more from the team I wanted a lot more um, I just thought it was going to be a good one but yeah we've had a shit start to the league like absolutely atrocious start to the league um, not good enough at all really not good enough uh, like the the starting lineup, McTominay and and Fred starting. Fred has been doing well, so I didn't really mind that. McTominay probably would have rather him not start, but he did all right. Um, I see why Ollie Gunnar Solskjaer picks them, but yeah, and um, to make the changes when he did, I thought okay, maybe I would have liked to see the change of Cavani a little bit sooner or something. Um, but yeah, just I don't know. Uh, for me. I'm in a mood now. I'm pissed off. There's nothing worse than losing, um, especially on against Arsenal when you've got all these annoying Arsenal fans dropping in your DMs and shit. Um, even Liverpool fans fucking commenting on on your stuff like watch your own games, go away. I don't go commenting on Liverpool players when when they've lost, and um, you know, but they always feel the need to come and and, and, and we just live rent free in all these these op- opposing fans' heads. So. Ugh, it's annoying that you know that we've lost and um, what a dampener but look we'll just have to pick ourselves up we'll have to go again our next game is who's our next game i forget now next game next game next game's a big one i don't know i don't remember now but um yeah look let me know your thoughts on the game i am just draining for me David De Gea did not have too much to do. He made a couple of decent, I wouldn't say saves, just a you know, decent bit of movement and stuff about him. But other than that, I think the game was just shite. Absolute shite. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments. We'll continue the conversation there. And if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. Drop a like if that match was just pure shit. And I will see you for the next one. Thanks for watching.